an act of magic in words containing a death. I never ever meant him harm. I don't know why I like to imagine him dead, except that his nobility and beauty are sacrificial. I now know only death wants me, but he looks away, lest I find him frightening. He's shy. How sweet. He'll give me a locket to remember him by. I'll wear it round my neck. It holds a graven cameo of me. In these moments called the last moments, what amazes me is to travel with my eyes out over the curve of the town, out to the coast, embracing the silence of faraway things, the beauty of light, which is beauty's distance, and of rushing towards it, riding sight as racing hearts make blood ride desire. And this is death, and he is there. Were they related? Well, um, <coughs> they're from two different plays. Um, I think that I really do have some odd obsession with murdering baseball players. Because <laughs> <laughs> it really is a very recurrent theme in my play. I guess that baseball. Well, it's just such a symbolic sort of thing. It's so, you know, what being a, a boy is all about, and what I, I guess, always felt so locked out of somehow. Um, it also, I like it because it always seems to take place very much in the distance. It's, it's like this kind of thing that, you know, these boys on this green field, it's like a huge wave. They, they might even be drowning as much as playing. <laughs> <laughs> and you know how in the distance emotions get very dissenting, <coughs> so that a child who's laughing on the other side of the field might equally well be shrieking in agony or weeping. <laughs> 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 if you'd like to look on things in that way. <laughs> I don't know if that answers your question or not. I have a more direct question. It 
was about, um, actually, were they related in the sense that the one play was, took uh, place from the character, the murderer's point of view, and the, the other play took place for somebody watching. And it seemed to me, maybe it was just, I was reading into it, it seemed like he was watching the first play. Well, uh, <coughs> you know, I did not think of that when I was writing it, however, that's true. Well, that's a very good point. <laughs> you know, I do these plays, you know, like once a year, I write a play and perform it. Uh, but eventually I would love to do several of them in a series, you know, and they do oftentimes in some odd way reverberate against one another in a very telling sort of a way. So indeed that's very true. <laughs> have, you been, have you been doing this your whole life? Well, uh, most of what one might call my adult life, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> storytelling like this? Or? Well, um, <clears throat> I, I really never thought I would be a performer. Um, when I was growing up, I was horrifically shy. <laughs> Know, but I, I wrote poetry a lot, and then when I came to New York, I started doing readings um, in nightclubs and crazy places, and, and people immediately just started asking me to act <coughs> because I, I really liked my voice, which, you know, and, and so I really got very involved in acting in other people's plays. And uh, then I started writing specifically for the stage. You know, but it was mainly from uh, learning from actually acting. You know, and <coughs> I must say, I think that acting was a very good thing for me to do because it really helped me very much to overcome a crippling sort of a shyness. You know. <laughs> I recommend it highly. <laughs> <laughs> Does your voice just naturally have this accent? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I, you know, <coughs> sorry, I kind of shot my voice today. <laughs> um, hopefully I'll recover. Um, yeah, I, my sister and I grew up with our mother who was very eccentric and we really had no friends and we only talked to each other. I don't know, we just wound up sounding. <laughs> I mean, it got to the point where I was, our mother was also extremely psychotically paranoid and wouldn't want her to do with anyone, so, you know, she, we'd go to these drive-ins and she'd make us go up and get, or order the food because she wouldn't go into any stores or anything. I remember being like seven years old, having these people at the Brazier Burger say, where are you from? And we'd say, well, here. And they'd say, that's impossible. You know, and after like a year of that, well, we just start saying, Transylvania. <laughs> Scared to visit us. Where are you from? I'm from Savannah, Georgia. <laughs> A beautiful town to grow up in. When you were growing up, did you watch like uh, monster movies? <laughs> you horror stories? Oh, were yeah. You that? <laughs> <laughs> I love stuff like that. <coughs> Our mother would take us to quintuple horror features at the drive-in movies. Um, well, you know, I love those old Italian horror movies, like Mario Bava and people like that. There was one movie, I remember this one quintuple feature one Halloween, we would seen like four of them in a row, and we were actually getting sick of, you know, horror movies. 
we were on the verge of leaving, there was this one movie called Kill Baby Kill. <laughs> we thought, God, that sounds so stupid. And we were going to leave, but Mother had trouble detaching the speaker, you know, from the side of the car. And the movie started, thank God, we, we just literally thought, wow, I mean, it wasn't at all like what I imagined it would be, and it was one of the, it was a Mario Bava horror movie, and it was amazing, it was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. And I liked all those crazy movies that they loosely based on Edgar Allan Poe poems, too. Those were tons of fun. Vincent Price. <laughs> <laughs> Having very little truly to do with Edgar Allan Poe, but you know, so what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why did your sister choose as a career? <laughs> She's a painter. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> she does gigantic, menacing, nude portraits. <laughs> 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 I've posed for her a lot. You don't think I've sat for her. She's an amazing painter. Yeah? How come you didn't do any photo tonight? Well, uh, I thought, you know, kind of that I was expected to do my own material. You know, and so. So that's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love her. Oh, Poe's amazing. I, <coughs> in. I always make a reference to Poe somewhere or another in, in most of my plays, because I, I do think he's most amazing, truly. Are you in Carol's class? What? Are you in Monsters, Madness, no, and the Macabre? No, experiences in my life. <laughs> you know, things that I feel are inexplicable in rational terms. Um, so that's all I can say really as to whether I you know, actually literally believe in ghosts the way they're normally you know, thought of, I'm not sure. <coughs> I don't know if people really stick around <coughs> that much in one Cloud formation, you know, with their <laughs> original intents and um, grudges and things. But I certainly believe in energy, and, you know, power um, that does not depend on fleshly manifestations. Uh, we'll see later tonight how I feel. <laughs> 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 I might answer that a little differently later. Yes? Yeah. And how did you start writing poetry? How, how did you start writing Well, um, <clears throat> you know, our mother was a painter, and I, didn't, I, I always wanted to be an artist of some sort. And I assumed that I would be a painter. But then, <laughs> then, <laughs> when I was maybe, I don't know, 12, I had this horrible crisis which I realized that my sister was so much better than I was <laughs> as a painter and visual artist that I could never hope to be as good as her. And that was a rather ghastly thing to go through. So I decided to change careers when I became a writer. <laughs> Edgar. You know. Yeah. Right here. Is your sister older? She's one year older. <coughs> but you know, people always think we're twins. Okay. <laughs> like two kids from the turn of the school or something. Yeah. Do you believe in God? Um, well, I, uh, I believe in some sort of governing force of the universe. Yes, I do. I don't know if it uh, you know, complies with any religion. <laughs> I, I do believe in some benign sort of government force, hopefully benign. <laughs> 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 